This short video will detail most of the core features of the 3CX software application that are essential for your business. When you receive a call to your extension, 3CX software will appear on your screen displaying the name and number of the person who is calling. To answer the call, click on the option that says audio. To place an active call on hold, simply press the hold button and the call will be held. As soon as you want to resume the call, simply press the hold button again and the call will resume. To mute your microphone, whether that be headset or handset, whilst you're on an active call, simply press the microphone button and it will mute your device. It will highlight blue once it's active. To unmute, simply press the same button again to continue talking. 3CX has the option to record active calls. Our system is set to record by default as you can see here. But if this option has not been enabled, to start recording a call, click on the recording button in the bottom right hand corner. Press this button once to start the recording. The button will then highlight blue when it is recording. To stop this, simply press the record button again and it will stop. Call recordings then can then be accessed in the settings menu in the bottom right hand corner. Right click on the recording you'd like to download and select the destination you would like to save it. To dial an internal number, simply find the person you would like to call in your contact list, either by their name or their extension number. Once you've selected this, press on the arrow on the right hand side and press call extension. To dial out to an external number, either type in the name of the company or the person you are calling, or alternatively enter in their number using the keypad as shown. Once you've found the person you would like to contact, simply press the call button and the phone call will be placed. To call a number you can see online, in a document or an email signature, depending on whether the link has been created, simply click on the number and select dial, as 3CX has the functionality to be able to open these links. To view information about your recent calls, click the button at the bottom of your 3CX window next to the contacts button labelled as call history. Once you click on this icon you'll be able to see all the calls that you have made over a period of time. Within this menu you have the option to see all of the inbound calls, outbound, missed and abandoned calls. To create a conference call in 3CX simply press the conference button at the bottom of the software window then press create conference. Once you've pressed this you can set a subject any additional notes and then add any participants you'd like. You can add internal extension numbers, direct numbers, emails or search contacts by name within your organisation's address book. You can either commence a conference immediately or schedule it for a specific time. Once this has been completed, the participants will be sent an email which will give them the conference ID. This comes in the form of a six digit pin which grants them access to the call. A calendar alert will also be set for the participant. To transfer a call to another recipient while you're on the line to someone, press the Attended Transfer button. The call will then be placed on hold, allowing you to search for the contact you want to transfer the call to. Once you've connected to the recipient, simply press the Transfer button to transfer the call. To perform a blind transfer within 3CX while you're in an active call, click on the Transfer button. You can then select a contact by typing their name or typing in the number using the white search bar at the top. Once you've found the contact you want to transfer the call to, simply press the transfer button to transfer the call. The call will then be transferred as soon as the recipient accepts the call, or you press the end button at the bottom of the window. To change the status of your availability within 3CX to inform your colleagues of when you can and can't take calls, simply click on the drop down menu in the top left corner below your name and select between available, away or do not disturb. Away and do not disturb are typically set to go to voicemail but both give information of whether you are simply away from your desk or are actively declining calls. To view statistics about your company switchboard, such as number of calls serviced and who is servicing the calls, click on the switchboard button in the bottom right hand corner. Queue Manager provides call information and statistics on all the users and the different call queues within your company. Wallboard provides a dashboard-like interface with the same type of information but easy to digest and ideal for an office information screen with statistics available at a glance.